a child in the crossfire. All in my neighborhood, I'm gonna let it shine. The 10 year old little boy is coming home from school and someone just sprays the corner. I heard about anywhere from 11 to 13 shots right in a row, pow, 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 pow. Mom um, was yelling, my son, my son. We offer our hopes and our prayers. We just cannot allow our community to feel like hope is lost. Hope is not lost. A boy caught in the middle of gunfire, and tonight police are telling us the shots rang out because of drugs. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Jessica Cartalia. One man is in custody in connection with this shooting. But the man who shot the 10-year-old is still out there. The shooting happened on the 2000 block of Margaret Street in Frankfurt. Kimberly Davis is outside St. Christopher's Hospital tonight. And Kimberly, what's the latest on the young boy's condition? Yuki and Jess, good evening. That 10 year old is in critical but stable condition, and doctors believe he will survive. Police tell us he was outside of the corner store waiting for his mother when he was shot, and tonight he is surrounded by his mother and siblings. Next thing I knew, there was a lady down the street holding the, uh, the boy's back of his head. It was a chaotic scene on the 2000 block of Margaret Street in the Frankfurt section of Philadelphia. 10 year old Samaj Branty on the way home from school shot in the back of the head just steps away from his home. You see the car as it turns the corner, the back rear driver window comes down and you see your arm extend out the window and it begins to fire. Captain John Walker of the 15th District walks us through the moment Samaj was caught in the middle of a shootout around 3.30 Wednesday Wednesday afternoon. We're told a man who is now in custody tried to shield the 10 year old. He tries to cover the kid and protect the kid, but the kid takes a shot. You see the kid go down in the video. After Samaj went down, the man in custody took cover and fired back. Eyewitness News spoke with a woman who helped keep Samaj alive. I noticed that the young man had um, a wound to the neck. Um, on the left side of his neck. Um, so I instinctively just kicked in and grabbed um, someone's sweatshirt and correctly applied pressure to the area. As I was doing that, I had already started calling 911 prior. Jahira Cruz is a medical assistant and tells us her main goal was to keep Samaj alert until first responders arrived on scene. Samaj is a member of Faith Assembly of God. Pastor Richard Smith says he was very involved in the church and won't allow gun violence to take over their neighborhood. We just cannot allow our community to feel like hope is lost. Hope is not lost. As the 10 year old continues to fight for his life, his loved ones are hoping for a miracle. He's going to live through this in Jesus' name. Police are still searching for the 10 year old shooter as well as the red or maroon Pontiac G6 that the shooter was riding in. If you have any information that could help detectives out in their investigation, they are urging you to give them a call. We're live outside of St. Christopher's Hospital for Children. I'm Kimberly Davis, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Kimberly, thank you.